In this tutorial we're going to create some block letters with some layer styles. So go ahead and go to File New. We're going to create a new document with 800 by 600 pixels and pixels. Make sure that pixels is selected. Click OK. And now we are going to choose some blocky letter type. I'm going to choose my text tool and I'm going to choose a blocky kind of font. Impact works well. Uh, Gil Sands is also good. I'm going to choose Gil Sands right now, uh, but just choose any blocky style letter and uh, play around with the size here. I'm going to make mine 200 points, so highlight and hit enter after I type 200. Make it left aligned, and I'm going to choose my color as black. And I'm going to go ahead and type my name here in all caps. Okay, so my name doesn't fit very well, so I'm going to highlight my text, and I'm going to make this 175. And that seems to work pretty well. I'm going to center this into my page, make sure that there's a little bit of space on both sides. The next thing I'm going to do is rasterize my layer. So I'm going to right-click on this, go to Rasterize Type. That's going to turn it into paint, so now I can manipulate it uh, with my transform. So I'm going to edit transform. I'm going to go to perspective. And with perspective, this is going to make it look like it's either coming towards us or falling away from us. So I'm going to grab my top left corner here and I'm going to click and drag this so that it is laying down. I'm dragging to the right so that this lettering looks like it's falling down. And I'm going to even pull this out a little bit. And once I like it the way it, this way, I'm going to hit enter, and it's been applied. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make many copies of this, but the way I'm going to do it is with the keyboard. <clears throat> I'm going to hold the control and the option key on my keyboard. So hold, hold down control and option, and you should see that your mouse is this black and white tipped arrow here and I'm going to use my down arrow key and I'm just going to hit down, down, down and I'm going to keep hitting down and you're going to see on the side screen here that you have uh, copies here of your original and I've made 21 of them so you can go ahead and make 21 copies of yours and you can see that we now have blocky letters here now what I'm going to do here is go back to my original and I'm going to turn the eyeball off so I can't see it. And I'm also going to turn the eyeball off of the background. So the only thing I can see now is all of the copies. My eyeball is off on my background layer and on my original letters. Okay, I'm going to go up here to this little button right here in the top right corner. It's right above opacity. And I'm going to click. And I have these bunch of options here. And what I'm going to do is merge visible, and that's going to merge all the layers that have an eyeball that is turned on into one layer. Click that, and now you can see that all of them are on one layer now. And I'm going to click the eyeball back on for my top layer and for my background. Now for this copied layer, this is the one we want to work on right now. Make sure that this one's highlighted. I'm going to come up to Layer. I'm going to go to Layer Style, and I'm going to... Uh, put a gradient overlay on this and you can see that this gradient overlay actually causes um, some depth, depth to be added to our um, to our block letters here and you can change the angle here and decide which one is going to work for you but basically you want to get some depth to those letters and make it look like there's a light source hitting it from one of the sides. So this looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and just so we can see what we're doing here, move my original my original letters. I'm going to click and drag that above my other one and so now it's on top. And so now we can see the Curtis or the name that is on top of our little blocks here. I'm going to go back to my block and leave this one alone and then we're going to add another layer style to it so I'm going to go to layer layer style and I'm going to do a bevel emboss 
and we're going to do an inner bevel. We're going to do smooth. We're going to turn the size up a little bit to give this a little bit of depth here. You can see the shadows are changing. We can soften it up a little bit. And you can change the angle of your uh, bevel and this is going to change where the shadows lie. So as you move this around the um, the lettering, and I'm going to move this window just for a second, you can see that the shadows change depending on where you put the bevel. Now we want the shadow to be in such a way that it makes it look like these are on blocks here. And the um, this is the last effect we're going to do to make our, our letters block. We're going to click OK. And now I'm going to do the same thing to my top layer. I'm going to uh, click that and we're going to go to layer, layer style. But this time we're going to do a gradient overlay to our layer, to our top layer. And for our gradient, I'm going to choose a color. So choose here your, your uh, clicked at it gradient mode and I'm going to choose my color right here and I'm going to choose a different color I'm going to choose a blue color and make that blue and I'm going to change this color to another shade of blue just light blue and move that around I'm going to actually make this a little bit lighter so that it's almost white okay click OK and I'm also going to add a bevel emboss to this, kind of give it some depth, but not too much depth, just a little bit to make it look like these things are blocked off. And I'm also going to add an inner shadow to my letters. So your letters should look something like this. You've got uh, an inner shadow, a bevel emboss, and a gradient overlay to a dark color to a lighter version of the color. And once we click OK on this, then now we have our blocked letters. We got three-dimensional text letters laying down on their side. Um, one last thing that you can do, just to give it a little bit more oomph, is go back to your bottom layer here to the copy one, and we're going to add one more uh, layer style we're going to add a drop shadow and let's move the angle to 90 degrees or somewhere around 90 degrees and we're going to move the distance down a little bit the size up a little bit the spread up a little bit and that will make it look even more three-dimensional with the drop shadow and that's our completed block letters.